COVID-19 cases in the U.S. have now passed 600,000. More than 26,000 Americans have died. Almost 50,000 have recovered from the virus. Also, the president has now abandoned his false claim that he has total control over reopening the country, conceding that governors have that authority and adding that he expects that some states could lift restrictions by the end of the month. The president has also halted funding for the World Health Organization, claiming it mismanaged the crisis from the start. And there's been a lot of pushback on that decision overnight from Bill Gates and other experts. The director of the CDC, as you know, George, Dr. Robert Redfield, is standing by. He's going to talk with you in just a few moments. But we're going to begin our coverage with Tom Yamas there in New York outside a nursing home in the Bronx. Good morning, Tom. Robin, good morning to you. Nursing homes like the one you see behind me are being extra cautious. They have to be. Many of them are now the epicenters of the war on the coronavirus. This as President Trump is now taking on an international body when it comes to the pandemic. This morning, amid the coronavirus pandemic, the president pointing fingers, announcing he's halting aid to the World Health Organization, saying their initial guidance against travel restrictions led to confusion and deaths. And now, his administration will review their handling of the crisis. One of the most dangerous and costly decisions from the WHO was its disastrous decision to oppose travel restrictions from China and other nations. The move comes as some are criticizing the president for not acting fast enough when it came to early testing and enacting social distancing guidelines. President Trump hoping to reopen parts of the country soon. But Dr. Anthony Fauci, one of the nation's top health experts, saying May 1st, a date the president has mentioned, could be too early. I think if we are assuming that two weeks from now, that all the curves are going to be down, that, I think that's, that's, you know, a bit overly optimistic. One governor, California's Gavin Newsom, offering what life might look like once his state reopens, but not settling on any type of date. You may be having dinner with a waiter wearing gloves, maybe a face mask, a dinner where the menu is disposable, where your temperature is checked before you walk in to the establishment. New hotspots emerging. Louisiana reporting its deadliest day yet in the coronavirus pandemic. One of these numbers is a person. It's one of our neighbors. It's one of our friends. Like Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Nearly 430 workers at a pork processing plant in Sioux Falls are now sick, and more than 100 people who came into contact with them are now testing positive. The governor in South Dakota had resisted ordering people to stay home. Regardless of a shelter-in-place order, this plant would have been up and running because it is exempted as an essential business. The mayor of Sioux Falls asking the governor to take action. We're growing increasingly concerned about um, the need to mitigate that spike before um, it overwhelms our hospitals. The death toll especially high in places like nursing homes. The New York City Health Department attributing nearly 4,000 additional deaths in nursing homes, assisted living facilities, and private homes in the city alone to the virus, bringing the state's total to approximately 15,000 fatalities. And FEMA announcing nursing homes will now have to submit coronavirus data to the feds. These fatalities make up about 25% of New York State's COVID-19 deaths and 46% in Massachusetts. 36 veterans who were positive with the virus died at the Holyoke Soldiers' Home. And this morning, more reporting that China waited and was not fully forthcoming with its own public, let alone the world, about this outbreak. The AP reports that Chinese officials waited nearly a week to address the public about the severity of the situation. In that time, we know that Wuhan held a celebration for thousands of people and millions started traveling for the Chinese Lunar New Year. George? Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.